Hi friends, this is Srinivas Reddy. In this video session, I am going to explain what is bar charts and column charts. First of all, what is mean by charts? Chart means it's a graphical representation. If you want to, to visualize any kind of data, we are showing that inside the charts. Here, we'll discuss about bar charts and column charts in this video session. Friends, you can see those images. First one is bar chart and the second one is column chart. These charts mainly will use for comparing numerical data across all categories. For example, we'll use this data like a total sales by product type and we'll see the population by different countries and we'll check revenue by department by quarter and for different categories. By using these charts, well represents the data like by monthly, yearly, quarterly or else different various regions, zones and some other categories. And here you have to see these two tips for this bar and column charts. One is well used stacked or cluster bar column to group by categories and subcategories for comparing multiple metrics. And the second project is we'll create a custom formatting rules to color code bars or columns based on their values. That means actually we'll select the data based on the categories, subcategories like by monthly and by genre and we'll take the sales of totals by genre and totals by months and we'll take different categories and subcategories by using this bar and column charts in the Excel 2019. By using this, we'll see how to visualize the data in the Excel. Friends, you can see the some data, some example workbook here that is bar and column charts sheet. In this, there is a data. It's a 2019 ticket sales based on movie genre and months. You can find uh, like total sales by months and total sales by genre. See, look at there in the seventh row. This is the data total sales by months and in the nth column, this is the data total sales by the genres like comedy, thriller, documentary, romance. Just I'm checking for example data here for practicing purpose. Now, with this data, we'll create bar and column charts. First of all, we'll create a chart. See here, friends, if I'm selecting any cell inside the data, when I'm selecting, when I'm inserting any chart, we'll get the chart for the complete data. So that's why just I'm selecting outside. Otherwise, you can select a few columns from this. And go to the insert, go to the charts group, Go to insert column or bar chart. You can select any chart. See, for the data, we are getting the chart. Otherwise, control J, just select outside. Now, here I am selecting a blank cell. If I am selecting a blank cell, outside the data, we will get, we will insert a blank chart. Now, I am selecting outside. Just go to the charts group inside the insert tab. Go to the Insert column or bar chart. Now we'll select any chart. For example, I'm selecting 2D bar chart. Look at there. Now here I need to add the data for this bar chart. Just right click on the chart. Select data. There is option called add in the legend entries. Just click on add series name. Here just I need the data based on the genres. Now, just will give a name for this. For example, I'm giving a name like sales by genre. Then series values, just remove this. Select the values, like I'm selecting these values. Total values from N3 to N6. Then say, okay. Friends, you can observe by default in the axis we got the values like one two three four so instead of that just i need to mention the genre names now go to the horizontal axis labels click on edit select these genres 
look at their friends we got the joiners in this axis next click on ok again click on ok see here just we got the values now just we'll design this uh, x-axis and y-axis select so this go to the home tab just will increase the font size and here also just will take the bold just will adjust the values also next uh, select this sales by genre just say bold now here also how you want to do format you can do here so just we created a bar chart by using sales by genre data now again we'll insert another chart that is called column chart select outside then go to the insert tab go to the charts group go to insert column or bar chart this time i'm selecting this today column now just place the chart here we'll adjust this same like bar chart right click on the chart select data add so this time just i'm taking sales by months next uh, series values just will select uh, this uh, seventh row values then say okay here also same in the horizontal axis labels uh, we got the numbers uh, so instead of that just i need the months uh, go to the horizontal axis labels click on edit select the months uh, from january to december then say okay then okay say so friends we got the months and uh, data so based on the months uh, just we got the sales uh, total sales now we'll do the formatting for this also select this just go to the home tab say bold and here also so how you want you can do changes uh, for this data say like this uh, we'll do all the changes now select this uh, just say bold friends and if you want to do any formatting just right click on this you can click on format data series and you can increase and width is overlap gap width all the things so just like this we'll insert bar chart and column chart friends now we'll insert another chart so in this chart we'll take journals as well as months in the previously we discussed and we created only sales by journal and sales by month in two different charts like one is bar chart and other one is column chart now same thing just go to the insert tab in the charts group just select any chart here just right click select data add the series name is sales by journal and months now we'll select the values here the values are completely like from movie genre months uh, complete information friends look at there just we got some error message the reference is not valued reference for titles values sizes or data labels must be a single cell row or column that means uh, when you are selecting like this you need to select either row or column not for complete multiple rows and columns so it will not work out like this directly so instead of that just we'll go for individually say just add series name comedy then series values select this comedy values okay next add thriller thriller months sales data okay next add documentary series values just i'm selecting documentary values okay see like this just we are creating clustered column individually just we need to select one after another we are adding the data into the charts one after another but it is a time taking process so instead of that we'll do in a simple manner just select this delete it first select the data from movie journal months and this complete data except totals go to the insert tab charts and go to there select this clustered column chart now we'll place here
Okay, uh, for this also we'll do some formatting. Just change the chart title also. Sales by journal and months. Bold. Okay friends, like this we'll create cluster column chart. Now here also just we'll do some changes. Bold and this one also to the bold okay friends just will do small small changes also for this data like this just will increase and decrease our uh, sizes will do the design to represent the data very easily now just i'm selecting this data just go to the chart tools in the chart tools uh, there is a option called change chart type go there and uh, we'll change the chart types also look at there first it was clustered column chart now i'm selecting stackle column chart okay if i'm selecting stackle column chart it is showing complete information totals by months and uh, individually also it is showing like for example look at their first uh, comedy next uh, thriller documentary romance all the values it is showing along with the total values also now we'll change this to another chart like go to the change chart type this time i'm selecting 100% stacked columns so it is showing like as 100% stacked now here also just we'll see the complete information complete data in this chart so friends just we'll create this kind of charts like bar charts, column charts, stacked charts by using this data. Okay, here just we are taking categories, subcategories. Here also just we are taking genres and months in a single chart by taking stacked columns, 100% stacked columns or other different charts. Thank you friends.